Okay, so that's interesting. How did I not see this? What in the hell, man? What is good, everybody? Today we are going on another WWE action figure toy hunt. Typically, I like to hit up my stores once or twice a week, and most of the time I bring up you guys along with me, but I have a feeling that the other day when we went on our toy hunt, my Walmart did not reset. My one Walmart that's the closest to my house, I did not go there because, or I went there, it just hadn't reset yet, right? The aisles were a mess, but I'm feeling like they gotta be reset by now, man, and hopefully they'll have some brand new stuff. Always on the look for the Monday Night Wars Elite Series 2. Already found Series 1 with Austin Hogan, all those guys. But I would really like to see Series 2 with the build -A figure Teddy Long. The Ultimate Editions we just reviewed this week, so not really looking for them. But anything we see that's new, I'm always intrigued to find. Maybe we'll find Elite 108, maybe Elite 109. Hell, you never know, man. These days, I feel like people are finding brand new retail figures that you would think only ringside would have, but people are finding them locally. So that's definitely something that you got to be on the lookout for. But nonetheless, man, we're going to get in the car. We're going to go over to Walmart, and we're going to find out if they actually have some stuff. I went to my Target yesterday. Still haven't put the damn Legends figures out. I don't know what's up over there. It's freaking dragging their feet, man. They're dragging their feet. I don't know what they're doing over there. But we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to see what they have, and hopefully we will find some good stuff. But join me on my hunt as we go, and uh, it's hot as hell outside, by the way. Damn, boy, it's hot. But let's go in here. I got to get the hell out of the car, man. It's hot as hell. All right, guys, it looks like they have reset everything. And what in the, okay. First time seeing these, man. We got the Walmart exclusive Young Bucks. We have Nick Jackson right there. These look beautiful in person, man. My God, packaging looks amazing. I don't know how I feel about that bandanas, you know, with the little tassels in their face, but my God, these look amazing. I think these may be worth the grab right here. I definitely want to review these. I like the jackets. You can do a torso swap, fix them up a little bit. The pants look immaculate. Hell yeah, did not. This is actually the last thing I expected on this toy hunt, so that's really good. But they have reset. Now, we did know that we found these last time, and there's still six of them. Beautiful looking figure. It's just, again, man, so random, man, for $43. I don't know, man. I don't know how long these are going to sit here, but it does look like I'm not seeing all the Alexa Blisses. What is this? We have one Alexa Bliss, and then we have one Bret Hart. One Ultimate Edition Monday Night Wars Bret Hart, but only. One Alexa Bliss. This is the Walmart that had like 25 of these, so I don't know where they put the other ones, but it is cool to see another Bret Hart. We reviewed him on the channel this past week. They also have some My Via Legacy 3 packs. Now, you guys know that I definitely need another one because of the robe, but I don't know if I want to buy another one of these, man. Again, they're $70, which, I don't know, that's like, like $23.33 23 per Elite. You get some really cool stuff. I still want that rock so bad. I mean, I guess technically I have it. I just don't have the robe with Rocky. Ah, decisions to be made. So hyped to find these, man. That's sick as hell. But we have Bret Hart. We have, ooh, top picks Cody Rhodes. I kind of want to buy this every time I see it. Is today the day? I don't know. Do they have Logan Paul, though? They have Vinci and, yep, they have a couple Logan Pauls. I've never seen this at retail. Yeah, just drop, put that anywhere, pal. So we have Logan Paul right there with the Prime bottle. That's beautiful. Man can't pick a good gear, and I'm not a big fan of him, but it's a damn good figure right here. So we have a couple Logan Pauls. We have Top Picks Cody Rhodes. Pretty loaded Walmart right now, man. Exclusive Young Bucks. Supreme Pinta. We have Scott Steiner. We have another Scott Steiner. We have EO Sky. Nylas are still here. I'm guessing they put those Alexa Blisses on clearance, if I had to guess. But they only have one here. We have Bret Hart, like we stated. And then we have a ton. Oh my god, man. We have a ton of main event rings, or whatever they're called. Knuckle Crunchers Rebound Rings. And mine actually arrived today, so that's interesting. How did I not see this? What in the hell, man? Jesus in heaven. Bro. <sighs> so they even took the interchangeable hands from Undertaker, but they left the Build-A-Figure Lex Luger head. So we have stolen figures. This is not the Walmart that people usually steal from. It's usually the other one, but we have Knuckle Crunchers Rock. We just reviewed these the other, uh, the other day on the channel. We have John Cena, Seth Rollins. It looks like they have the full wave, so a ton of rebound rings, like a ton. Loose Build-A-Figure Lex Luger head that we could just take. Nobody would know. We got Knuckle Crunchers, Knuckle Crunchers. Looks like we have more rebound rings up here. We have some basics up here. What is this? All right, we got George Washington head sculpt Bret Hart in the all pink. And then we have the same Shayna Baszler. And then I don't think I see anything else. We're going to have to pick up the aisle. But, oh my God. We have Monday Night Wars Hogan. 
And Monday Night Wars Austin. I think this was a, a buy every time I see it. Might have to buy this, man. Might have to buy this. It's a little damaged, but I'm gonna be opening it anyway. Just for the accessories, man. Great head sculpt, great shirt, great jacket, great double jointed arms, even if the jeans suck. And the freaking knees don't even bend, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something there. But somebody stole the taker. I don't see Scott Hall. Did they hide Scott Hall? No Scott Hall. Alright, I don't see Scott Hall, but Monday Night Wars Hogan. I guess he can come over here. And then we're gonna have to make some decisions here, but pretty stacked Walmart, man. Pretty cool reset. And they also have some superstars figures right here. We have, is that Chase still here? The Chase is still here. Still need that, by the way. Hmm, damn, gotta make some decisions, but it's a good hit right here. This is the only store I was coming to, so I guess it's a, it's money. Logan Paul, two Logan Pauls. Got Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Cody Rhodes, exclusive bucks. We have uh, the Cody Rhodes, or not Cody Rhodes, got ultimate bret hart we have the maya via legacy three pack and we have austin so gotta make some decisions i don't know what the hell i'm gonna buy but we're definitely leaving here with something actually as i was cleaning up the aisle i noticed that they have this basic 143 cody Rhodes figure which i never grabbed i don't know if i'm gonna grab it here today i've passed on it multiple times but for 11 bucks and what all i'm buying here today i think i'm gonna leave it but it's still cool to see still cool to see in person but i figured i'd go ahead and plug that in shaking my head man do better fix yourself Another day, another successful football hunt, Brad. So you guys saw what we basically grabbed. I mean, I guess you didn't know what I grabbed, but you knew that I picked up some stuff. I did grab another Monday Night Wars Austin. This one is damaged like we discussed before, but I am glad to have another one of these, man. It's just such a great figure. Such a great figure, and it includes another torso that I could possibly use on a future Build-A-Figure that we get. With the new Build-A-Figure stuff, man, you can never sleep on it. I just think that it's worth the extra pickup. And all the bells and whistles you get, the hat, the cans of beer, soda... You get the jacket, you get all the different stuff. I mean, I feel like it's an automatic cop, especially since I'm a big Austin guy. We also grabbed another Logan Paul to the collection. Now, I think I'm going to be giving this away on my Patreon. I think this is going to be a Patreon giveaway item. I do want another one of these in the collection, but I think I'm going to put this on the Patreon. So the Patreon members will have a shot at winning that one in our giveaway. And we did grab another Top Picks Cody Rhodes figure, which I'm excited about. So I, I, there's a fix-up I want to do with this guy for possibly... The next episode of surgery but i'm missing a specific part i just i have the figure i have the base figure i just need that extra part that i want to use for the surgery but we did pick up top picks cody Rhodes. i was excited to see these because i think i've only seen these at retail once before but i really can't even remember and then i also picked up some of these which doesn't really have any i mean it kind of does because i'm trying to put my i'm trying to finally get all of my stuff for my office hung up and done so this is kind of a step towards that seven dollars and ninety cents for this pack of hooks right here i wish somebody would hook punch me right in the mouth for buying these because i bought like five packs of them i didn't ring up a single figure yet and it was 35 dollars I almost walked the hell up out of the place. And then the last thing that we grabbed on this hunt is going to be the Unrivaled Bucks, which are the Walmart exclusive ones. I'm so intrigued with these. I think these could finally surpass the Unrivaled Series 3 Bucks, and we are going to do some cool reviews on this. We're going to do some switcheroos and some head swaps and everything, see what they look like. I think I am going to cut the tassels off the front of that eventually. Maybe we can do that on surgery, but I definitely, I, I really want two pairs of these, ones with the jackets on, ones with the jackets off. But these look very colorful, very toyetic, and I've heard that they're buttery smooth. We will be the judges of that, Brad. We're going to crack these guys open and find out, but I am happy to knock those out of the collection. 19 bucks for figures at retail, and the top picks figures were actually $19, so that's also a huge purchase. Purchase. And the last thing that we grabbed, which was not on our toy hunt, but we did see these. This literally arrived today, and I don't know what this retails for, but this is the Knuckle Crunchers Rebound Ring that we reviewed the other day. So we reviewed this entire set, and now we have added the ring, these accessories and weapons that come with it, and we have added the addition of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar into our collections for the Knuckle Crunchers. So here is our Knuckle Crunchers. If you missed the full reviews of this set, definitely check it out. But now we have added them to our collections here. And I don't think I'm going to review this. I think I'm going to make a mini display with all of them in the ring with the Brock. And I have all my loyal subjects and mini figures up here. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put this because I have so all my shelves are pretty much full for the most part. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. So I just kind of grabbed them and put them here. You guys know I don't have a ton of shelf room here. And I think in this space is where I'm going to finally put my computers and such. So, with all that being said, I have to find a place to put this damn knock, you know, knuckle crunchers ring that we have had. Besides this, and besides all the things we grabbed here today, we'll be doing a review of these Young Bucks together in one shot. We'll be using this for surgery. We'll be using Austin for surgery. 
giving this Logan Paul away. Need to finish hanging shish with that. I have been working on some customs. I kind of want to show off a little bit, but they are, they're going to be whatnot exclusive, and I don't have a specific detail on when my next whatnot stream is, but it is coming soon. I also forgot that I ordered quite a few of these. They're not here yet, but I did order quite a few of these that are on the way. It's going to be the Elite 109 Seth Rollins, so I did get a few of those loose, and I ordered the variant to the Elite 109 Cody Rhodes that features the Mr. Perfect build-up figure legs. I will be having another suited Cody that's like this, but it has the updated legs and whatnot. I still feel like this is a much better looking Cody than this, man. People were trying to say that this one looked better. I don't know what you're looking at, man. I don't know what you're looking at. Please tell me what you are looking at when you see this. This one has the better muscular build. It just looks a lot better, man. I don't know. However, man, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our toy hunt video. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you would have grabbed on the toy hunt. I felt like this was a very loaded store at the end of the day. Very loaded store that I was very shocked to see what we saw. It was a ton of stuff that we found today, which is always good on the hunt, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolutely incredible. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'm out.